What's up, everybody? It's your favorite conspiracy about reptile people's favorite nerd. What's up with those guys? And today we are looking at the Build-A-Figure Lizard from the Spider-Man Wave. And a lot of people like to have this, these things kind of built on camera so they can see how challenging it is because sometimes they're not tolerance extremely well. So let's go ahead and do it. We'll put in the head. As you can see, the head is just a single ball peg, which is a total um, missed opportunity for a double. There that is. And then we have arm numero uno. Arm numero dos. Is that in there? I guess so. Mm. And then we have our legs. Come on. And our tail. Not the most elegant situation here, is it? He is fighting this. <laughs> Good grief. All right, so that's giving me a problem. I'm going to do it off camera. All right, so yeah, that tail was a was a pain, but here he is together. Let's talk about him. I'm not crazy about the head sculpt. It's definitely a subjective thing. It's very Velociraptor, and it actually it has a little bit more Velociraptor traits than I even would like to admit. He tried to eat me. I had to lock myself in the bathroom. I hope this holds. He's getting smarter. So a little scary. Anyway, the articulation though works very well. So the ball peg in the neck. Doesn't get you great down, which is a bummer, but it does get you a little bit up and side to side works fine. And then you have a hinge. Yeah, the hinge is here. So these two pieces peg into the side of this, which gets you an up down or just the jaw. The problem is, is that you always have this inside of the jaw, which is just sculpted neck, which is really weak. And then you have the tongue that's glued on, but it is a nice length and, uh, you know, It'd be nice if you if you could unpeg that. I don't think you can. But the inside of the mouth is painted well. The teeth are painted well. The eyes are painted well. The difference, like the 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 gradient between the greens, looks great. And uh, yeah, other than it's other than the actual sculpt of this part of the head, I'm on board for. And it's not hateful. It's just very velociraptory. Okay. And then we have an ab crunch. Which, because of the cape, you don't really get any, or the, the, the doctor coat, the lab coat, you don't get anything really back because it pushes against the tail. But you do get it forward, but it doesn't ratchet. So it's just fighting the weight, which isn't great either, to be fair. The shirt is all sculpted well, and then underneath seeing the scaled chest, that all works well. There's wrinkles in the shirt. I dig all that. Arms are on ball hinges, or disc hinges rather. They get you up to there and the swivel all the way around. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbow. We do got another tear in the coat here and here, and it is sculpted underneath, so that's cool. I like how it's a little uh, washed with brown, like it's filth around the, the edges of the coat. It's the same here down at the bottom of the lab coat and on this arm. And then we have the forearm itself. The scales are a darker green, and then the forearm's a lighter green, and it's the same for this. Unfortunately, we don't see this great sort of gradient paint here, which would have been nice. But articulation-wise, you get a swivel at the wrist and then a hinge in and out. For the legs, T-joint and ball joints for hips that work really well. Forward and back to there. Thigh swivel. You got the rips in the pants with the scales sculpted underneath, which looks nice. The knee, really, it doesn't allow you to get any kind of forward motion. So he's going to take up a lot of space on a shelf. Be advised of that. You do have the pants that are sculpted over top, and then everything is sculpted underneath which is good. The knee is all sculpted as well, which is also nice. And then you have the ankle, which is a disc hinge, gets you back to there and there with a rocker. And then you have a toe tilt as well. Same thing with the scales painted the darker green, the other everything else painted the lighter green or the medium color green, but none of that gradient stuff that we see up in the neck, which is a bummer. And then we have the tail, the underneath is painted the lighter green, you do get the swivel where it plugs in, 
You get a hinge where it plugs in as well. You get a hinge here and swivel at a disc hinge. And then you get a swivel and a disc hinge here, but it's sideways for this one. So it's up and down for this one, up and down for this one, sideways for the last one, which is interesting. It's an interesting way to do it. I'm not, I'm not mad at it. It would have been nice if they were kind of universal and you could have gone any way you wanted them to, but I'm, I'm ultimately not mad at it. So yeah, it's, it's an okay figure. It, the, the, the big issue for me anyway is the subjective nature of me not being crazy about the head sculpt. But outside of that, it's okay. I will say it is slightly limiting as well, just in sense of what you can do with it and how the joints are. Final thoughts wise, I think it's fairly well done. My main issues are the head sculpt, like I just previously said, and then the fact that you don't get any more out of the knee than that backward 15 degrees. There's no ratchet in the ab crunch, so that prevents you from locking it in place where you would like it to. And there's a worry that over time, the bulk of the figure, especially the upper body, will wear out the tolerance on the tension of the ab crunch as it is. I also would have liked to have seen that same gradient style that's applied to the neck, applied to the forearms and the lower legs and the tail, to be honest. Outside of that, though, the rest of the articulation works well. The sculpt is tremendous, that's to say objectively. So even with the head sculpt, like all of the scales, all of the wrinkles in the pants, the tears in the pants, the layers of scales, like it's all done fairly well. And I like a lot of the stuff that they did articulation wise with the feet and feet and tail. So it's a pretty good lizard figure. I think most of us have wanted a lizard for a long time. Now I feel like I really need a Calypso to go with him. I hope that's in the cards. But yeah, I can recommend it. If you're okay with the head sculpt, there's nothing that's gonna make you get over that if you're not. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.